Hey there, thanks for joining me for today's practice. Short and sweet, we're gonna make a start straight away. So coming up to standing if you're not already there and coming to the top of your mat. And you can have the feet hip distance apart or bring the feet together side by side. And then let's bring the palms, the hands together into your prayer position in front of the chest. Starting to feel the weight drop down into the feet. Just taking these first few moments to really gather yourself, noticing where you're at. Noticing the sounds in the room, the temperature, any the feeling and sensation of clothing against the skin. It's allowing the face and the shoulders to relax. So when we start moving, we're moving from this open, receptive space. And when you're ready, let's open up the eyes. Just releasing the arms down by your side. Press down through the feet, reach the arms up, take an inhale, looking up towards the thumbs. As you exhale, take a forward fold into your Uttanasana. Now we're feeling really free to bend the knees here. I'm gonna bend my knees, letting the belly relax down onto the legs, let the head relax. Take an inhale into your halfway lift. You might keep your knees bent or start to straighten those legs, take the hands to the shins or keep them down. And then as you exhale, draw the navel in to fold down. Soften through the legs to step that right leg back, dropping down to the right knee, release the top of the right foot down. So just your simple Anjaniyasana lunge here, relaxing the shoulders, take a big inhale. As you exhale, tuck the back toes under, step back into your plank position. Wrists underneath the shoulders, sternum reaching forward, taking an inhale. Exhaling, the knees come down and then shift the hips slightly back to dive the chest down. So knees, chest, chin, squeeze the elbows in, bummies up in the air, and then slide the knees back, release the belly down, tops of the feet press down, hands slide back, coming into your cobra, squeeze the elbows in. Take an inhale, as you exhale, shift back to the knees, tuck the toes under, press back, down facing dog. Feet hip distance apart, hands shoulder distance apart. Come back to your breathing in and out through the nose. And then starting to pedal out through the feet right and left. Just bending one knee and then the other. It's opening up through the soles of the feet. And then settling both heels back down. Just for a moment, we're gonna lift both heels up. Shift the hip, the swivel on the balls of the feet, hips slightly, heels slightly towards the right, and then bend the knees, sh shift the hips back towards the heels, and then come back to down facing dog. Swivel on the balls of the feet, bend the knees, and then come back to your down facing dog. Heels slightly to the right, bend the knees, shift back towards the heels, and back to down facing dog. And again, last time, to the left, bend the knees, and back into your down facing dog. And then heels can just reach down again. Take one more full breath in your down facing dog. Exhale completely. Take the right leg up to your three legged dog, inhale. Stepping it forward in between the hands, drop down to that left knee, release the back of the, uh, the left toes down. Inhaling. As you exhale, let's straighten into this front leg. You can walk your hands back. Take an inhale to lengthen through both sides of the waist as you exhale, folding down to where you can. Just taking a couple of breaths here. If it's possible, the right toes really flex towards the face. And then let's bend into that front leg. Walk your hands forward, tuck the back toes under, lift the back knee off. And then hands shift about a foot forward of that right foot. So you can lift that left leg up into your L shape. Sternum's reaching forward, inhale. As you exhale, tuck that left knee behind the right knee, let the head relax down. And then take an inhale, extend back to your L shape. Sternum reaching forward. One more time, tuck the back knee, 
behind the right. Extend into your L shape. Inhale and stepping it forward, Uttanasana. Let the head relax down. Take an inhale, coming all the way up to standing. Press down through the feet. Reach the hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into your halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step that left leg back. Drop down to that left knee. Release the back toes down. Inhale to reach the sternum forward. As you exhale, relaxing the hips towards the mat. Tuck the back toes under, plant the hands down, step back into uh, plank position. Taking an inhale, exhale, knees, chest, chin down. Squeeze the elbows in, slide the knees back, release the tops of feet down, slide the hands back a bit, squeeze the elbows in. Inhaling, exhale, back through tabletop and into down facing dog. Just find your down facing dog. Steady the gaze in between the feet. Let's take that left leg up to your three-legged dog. Now inhale, exhale, stepping it forward in between the hands, dropping down to that right knee, release the top of the right foot down. In breath, as you exhale, straightening to this left leg. Flex the left foot towards the face, walking your hands back, trying to keep this right hip over the knee. Take an inhale, exhale, forward fold. So lifting the belly button away from that left thigh. Keeping that left leg parallel. Trying to soften on the exhale. And then let's bend into that left leg. Tuck the back toes under, lift that right knee off. Hands about a foot forward, L shape with that back leg. Take an inhale, sternum reaches forward. Exhale, tuck the right knee behind the left, relax the head. And then inhale back to your L shape. Exhale. Just Last time, extend into your L shape and then stepping it forward into Uttanasana, let the head relax down. Press down through the feet, reach the arms up, inhale, palms, hands come together, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Bring the feet together side by side, bend the knees, sweep the hands onto the mat and then up into your chair, your Utkatasana. Sit the hips down, shift the weight slightly back into the heels. You might look straight ahead or slightly down if it's okay in your neck. Look in between the hands. Maybe sit down just a little bit deeper, shift the weight back, take one more inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, step back into your plank position. Option for Chaturanga if you would like to. So going halfway down, squeeze the elbows in. Press through the feet to come into your cobra or up facing dog. Shoulders away from the ears. Press down through the tops of the feet. Maybe looking up, inhale. Lift through the belly, roll over the feet, back into down facing dog. Let's take a breath here. And take the right leg up to your three-legged dog. Inhale. Stepping that right foot forward in between the hands. Drop that left knee down. Let's walk this right foot out to the side slightly. Option to just stay here or take a twist. Take the right hand back behind you. You might be able to bend that left foot in, hold the outside edge of that left foot, turning the shoulders towards the right. You let the eyes look towards the back as well. Nice open breath. And gently release that foot. Bring both hands down, tuck the back toes under, step back into down facing dog. Let's take a moment to reset here. Straighten those arms. Take that left leg up, inhale, stepping it in between the hands. Come down to that right knee, release the top of the right foot down. Walk this left foot out to the side. I'm feeling really free to stay here. If you'd like to take that left arm back, coming into your twist, either staying here 
or bending into that right foot, holding the top of that right foot, turning the shoulders towards the left. And I was a bit crowded there, so I stepped that right hand a little bit further forward. Taking one more full breath. Gently release that back foot down, bring both hands down, stepping back into down facing dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet, heels dropping down, bend those knees, just hanging down in your Uttanasana. You could either hold onto your elbows here or interlace the hands at the base of the head. And if your hands are at the base of the head, it just starts to create this extra weight and sense of traction along the spine. So try to let your head really relax. If it's comfortable, you might even close your eyes. And then let's gently release the arms down. Soften through the knees and walk your hands out just a little bit and we're just going to drop down to the knees. Come into your Japanese seated position if that's possible or just come to cross-legged position. Cupping the left hand in the right, thumb tips lightly touching, closing down your eyes. Just taking a few deep, easy breaths. Just notice what's still resonating from the practice we've been doing. And maybe some sensation, some warmth. And when you're ready, let's gently open up the eyes. Sitting over to one side and taking the legs out long in front of you. Just coming down your mat a little bit so you can Extend them long, flexing through the feet, reach the arms up, take a big inhale. As you exhale, forward fold. You might hold on to the outsides of the knees, the shins or the ankles, or maybe even your feet. Sternum reaching forward. Taking one more big inhale, lengthen through both sides of the waist. As you exhale, stay, see if there's any more space. And then inhale, coming back up. We're going to roll down all the way onto the back. So take those arms up to shoulder height. Inhale, exhale, draw the navel in. Rolling all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. And then from here, let's bend the knees up. Bring the knees up towards your tabletop position and then drop the legs over to the right. You might need to shift your hips slightly back towards the left. Just taking your twist here. Hat, that right hand could be on top of the left thigh. So letting the left shoulder blade be heavy. Trying to relax the legs now. And then inhaling the legs back through center, back to your tabletop position and then dropping them over to the left maybe bringing those hips slightly over towards the right and extending that right arm out to the side. Right shoulder blade heavy. If it's comfortable, closing down your eyes. That left hand can be on top of that right thigh. So give it a little bit more weight there. Just noticing if there's any unnecessary effort that you can let go of here. Sometimes we can be holding on to parts of the body that we're just not really aware of. When we're working in our practice, we give, give ourselves the space to notice and really start to let go that unconscious holding. And then let's take an inhale, come back through centre. Reset the hips so they're back in the middle and then let's extend the legs out long coming into your Shavasana. And you could have your arms by your side or if you would like to rest the left hand on top of your chest over your heart and the right hand over your belly. 
The hands on the body can create a grounding sensation. I'm just feeling into that if your hands are on the body. Just allowing the eyes to close completely now. With each exhale, the body getting a little bit heavier and a little bit softer. Relaxing the back of the neck, the shoulders and the belly. This whole body is letting go and resting here. Just staying here for as long as you need to. Thank you so much for joining me for today's practice. I'll see you next time.